What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be going through some of my favorite traditional tattoos on Reddit. I know it's a new idea. We haven't done it before. So let's jump right into it. Okay. So I went through scrolling through like the top of the month. So these are the ones that I found recently and we're just going to go through them and I'm just going to talk about why I like them so much, but let's get to it. Okay. This one is by a guy named Sean Carr on the Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia. My Aussie friends crush it. This is sick. There are a few things about it that I really love, and there's a few things that I'm like, not too in love with, but overall, the general aesthetic of this tattoo is killer. I'm super pumped on it. Like just the way it looks first glance, I'm stoked. If we're talking about the ship, I know it's a ship and it's like a battleship. So it's always hard to tattoo these damn things because they kind of end up looking a little plain. That's the one thing that pops straight to my head. Like when I see it, I'm like, it looks a little plain compared to everything else. But that is like such a non-issue because the overall aesthetic is so strong. I really do love the dagger underneath because it just fills in so well and just looks so tough. The panther and the tiger on the sides of the belly were smart, like smart moves. And I love that they're not like, they're not like perfectly symmetrical. Like for my chest and stomach, it's a little too symmetrical right now. And I can't wait to like change it up a little bit. I want things to be a little bit more uneven, which is something I like this full torso is done. It just feels more organic, I guess, in a lot of ways than like maybe my chest and stomach do. The girls are sick, super pumped. There's some interesting choices there, but not at all a bad tattoo or anything like that. I'm just like trying to find things to pick on at, because overall the tattoo is a killer. Man, I already like Reddit because if these are the types of tattoos that we're gonna be popping into, I am stoked. I do also love that palm tree sunrise in the back. It just fits in there really well. They just like put it in and I like that. That's a smart, cool move. But let's go off to the next one. Woo! This little wizard frog. Dude, I love this. I did a frog not too long ago, like a cowboy frog. It was done in black and gray and had I done it with color, this would have been the way to go. With these two greens and that pink, bro, I love that. There's so little things I could say about it that are, are bad. I mean, there's nothing. It's a almost flawless tattoo. I feel like the tattooer who did this, which unfortunately we don't have a name, probably had a hard time with that purple. That purple, bro. Purple can always be kind of a pain in the ass to tattoo. Just because it's one of those colors that like, it feels like it's never quite in the skin. Sometimes you overwork it because of that. Where like these greens and these pinks, like once you put them in, you could like tell immediately that they're in the skin. Not a problem at all. Really easy colors. Purple, always a pain in the ass. Brown, always a pain in the ass. But yeah, just a sick tattoo. I love that little fly at the edge too, on like the staff. So smart, so cool. Okay, that's it. That's it. just a great tattoo. Wow. I feel like I'm gonna say, I like this a lot. It's not finished. Just one more session to go, it looks like but I really am stoked on like the way that this is coming out. I like that they used this butterfly girl head, but they didn't use the one that everyone uses. They had changed it up. She redrew it or he redrew it. I'm pretty stoked. It looks good. It looks solid. It looks strong. The rose right above it, solid and strong. I love these stars. Like I like that they just put them wherever they felt like they wanted to. I feel like they can be a little bit of something in between the rose and the butterfly girl, but that's just, that's me being nitpicky as shit because it's an overall just great tattoo. And I love seeing like black and gray traditional. It's not an easy thing to pull off. The one thing, if I really wanted to get finicky, and this is me getting finicky. So if you have this tattoo, don't stress it. I'm just pointing little things out that are not important at all. And if you want me to critique the tattoos I do, I do the same thing to mine constantly. And I'll do it publicly if you want me to. But to me, the only thing that I can see is everything is so strong and bold. And then we get down to the small little face of the panther. I wish they would have done a bolder, dumber looking panther. That's also personal preference. So I'm not gonna like harp on that too much, but I do feel like it kind of gets lost a little bit in comparison to the rest of the tattoo that's so easily legible. 
Off to the next one, dude. Little Party Cat, done by Bram Bowman. That is a name, my dude. At Tattoo Joris, that tattoo is sick. I really love how the tattooer was not afraid to pound black into this tattoo. Like if you kind of like look at the edges of this tattoo, not a lot of tattooers are gonna throw this much black into it. Maybe some will, but a lot will kind of play with the idea of putting black in there. But this dude or girl, I mean, if there's a girl named Bram, I don't know anyone named Bram, so I have no idea whether that's a guy or a girl, but Bram crushed this tattoo. And I love how he used the same green for the hat and for the, the scarf collar thing, because in my mind, I would almost always change those up. Maybe I wouldn't put so much green into the tattoo, but clearly it works. So it's just something I need to rethink the next time I'm doing something like this. And I think it works because he's pounded so much black into this tattoo that it just like feels okay to have that much color saturated into it. And that red, I mean, spot on, so strong, stands out. There's enough red that it competes. And the negative space, dude, and the fact that he didn't put color in the flower and in the scarf just brings it all together. It's like he used not using color as a color. Does that make sense to you? So like he used that as a color in his palette. He kept it super minimal, right? We have yellow, we have green, we have red, and we have black. But the way he did this tattoo, he really used not using color as a color. It's like he used white without putting white in there. And it's so damn strong. I could go on and on about this tattoo. I love it. It's simple, it's straightforward, and it's just like, just badass. We got another back piece that I, I love, dude. You guys are so on point. The things that you guys upvote are worth upvoting. And this is definitely one of them. I'm gonna tell you guys something and I want you to understand what I'm saying. I don't want it to be meant as an insult. I love dumb traditional. Now that I'm not saying it's stupid or it's not good or something like that. I'm just saying like it's folky. It's not concerned with being perfect. It's just there and it was just created. And this is what I see when I see this tattoo. Now this is a perfect example of a tattoo that is just dumb and cool and perfect. So let, let me explain what that means to you. Look at the top of this castle where the star meets the, none of those lines, not a single one is perfect. And the truth is not a single one needs to be perfect because when I zoom out, it's a perfect tattoo. And you're like, well, that doesn't make sense because when we zoomed in, it wasn't perfect. And now when you zoom out, it is perfect. How does that make sense? Well, it's because the way I feel when I see it, I go, damn, that is right. That just feels strong. And you might be like, well, it's not perfect. I want a perfect tattoo. Bro, buy a painting. Don't buy a tattoo because tattoos aren't supposed to be perfect. They're supposed to have like emotion, strength, all these types of things that I think people kind of neglect when it comes to tattooing. And this tattoo pulls out all of that in me. I go, I love it. Can't describe it, can't explain it. I would absolutely never tattoo like this, but I know it when I see it and this is right. God, it's cool. But if I had to say something, if I had to say something, and I will, it's the green and the blue and the dragon. I would have picked a color that was a little bit different. I would have gone either, I mean, like he could have put a purple in there. He could have put a pink in there. He could have done all sorts of different things, but he chose to put green and blue very close on the color wheel. So that means that it kind of feels like it's, like I'm looking at the same colors. That's me harping on something that is irrelevant because I didn't do the tattoo. And when I look at the tattoo, I am stoked. So that's all that matters. Wow. This is the same idea, the same concept, and it's done so much differently. I feel the exact same. Like I just look at this tattoo and it's done so well and it's done so right. And the things 
about this tattoo are opposite of the last tattoo and I love it. Let's zoom in on this one, right? So clean, all the lines, almost perfect. Like the castle looks so solid, so strong, and it just makes me wonder, does any of it matter? Or is it just about the final product? I mean, that doesn't take away from the tattoo at all. This is an amazing tattoo. I'm just pointing out that like, that thing that I am trying to express of like how tattoos feel. This tattoo, I feel the same way. Like, I'm just like, ooh, that is strong. I love the black in the rocks. And so we're gonna spend a few minutes talking about these rocks because that is so, cool and so smart and the where he placed certain things are really well done now in case you don't know when you look at these rocks to me i see a very japanese-esque tattoo a lot of times rocks will kind of look like that it's not exactly don't get don't be crazy it's not a japanese rock but this is definitely done by a guy who knows what how to do japanese rocks because he is definitely using that to his advantage. And this is what helps to know all sorts of different styles. Because in this tattoo, having those Japanese rocks or having an understanding of the rocks really works well. And it doesn't take away from like the fact that this is just a traditional tattoo. Now the bottom rocks, these like little like um, stones, that is super traditional. That has been done forever. I just love them and I've never done them. And I probably because I don't have, I, maybe I haven't had the right image on a back piece to do it, but also maybe I lack the confidence to pull it off. But that's what I see with this whole tattoo, confidence. And I'll explain why. These clouds, that is a very hard thing to pull off. And when you're stenciling that or when you're drawing that, you're like, I don't know if this is gonna work, but it does. Same thing with the rocks. You're like, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but it does. And the same thing with these like background gray washed clouds behind the dragon. Not sure if it's gonna work, but it does. Wow, Reddit, you guys are, you guys are getting me pumped. I like Reddit. I've always liked Reddit. So let's go on to the next. Only dog can judge me. This is done by a guy named Deep Pressed NYC. I've seen his tattoos. I love his tattoos and there's a butt coming, but I don't know why I like his tattoos because I look at this and I go, yeah, that's a tattoo. And I think that's kind of what he's going for. It's like, yeah, you either get it or you don't. And I sometimes get it and I sometimes don't. And this time I'm like, I like it, probably don't want it. And that's cool too. So on to the next. <sighs> Deep sighs, because in my dreams, I create a tattoo like this. I know what you're saying. Kirk, you probably do make tattoos that are amazing and great and everyone loves. I feel the same way, I'm just kidding. But I do look at this tattoo and I go, that is damn near perfect. So clean, so solid, so smart, so much red. And I just love it. Like I can imagine seeing this tattoo healed in six months and being like, still so strong, still so beautiful, still so everything. That was done by a guy named Johnny Egos, Johnny Bearhands. North Carolina. If you're in North Carolina, you got a guy to go see because he is a killer. I know everyone's kind of a killer, but like, look at how solid this is, dude. Now, in case you don't understand why I'm saying it's so solid, I'll break down a few things. Let's zoom in on this feather, on this wing. One part, he decides to go solid red and it looks great. It looks solid, it looks saturated. It's everything he wanted to do. But then on the next one, he goes, I'm gonna do almost all solid with just a feather, just a feathering of the red. And you could see how it like changes the whole thing. Not to mention he put it on the other side, which I would almost never do. And even looking at it, I had to take a second glance. I was like, he did that on the other side. I would never think to do that. Why does that look so right? That's it. It's just something about it. It's very smart. It's very unique. He's doing things that like I would never think to do. The black top part right here where he put this little bit of red and he shaded it, brilliant. Would never think to do that. Almost every other tattooer would put line, line, put a little bit of black in that and then go to the next one. Like they were tattooing the scales of a dragon on this bird. This dude goes, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna shade a little bit of black into the scales and pound red into it and you're gonna love it because I'm awesome. 
That's what he did. And that's how it came out. And that is the end of this video because I have no more patience for looking at cool tattoos. I have to look at some garbage now because these things are killers and I liked looking at them, but now I have to go back to work and do some sick tabs. See you in a few days, like, subscribe. Don't forget about our membership if you wanna see an extra video every week. Thanks guys. Just so you know, we're booking for Southern California and LA and San Diego for July and September. Book some appointments, get some sick tats, we'll make some magic. Bye.